Oh hi, internets! On today's episode of Game Life, we're going to be talking about Star Wars The Force Unleashed, the brand new Star Wars game that... <sighs> Darth Vader, I told you, I don't need a co-host. Wait, wait it'll, it'll be awesome. Watch. Oh hi. Do oh. not want. No. If you've been into a bookstore, a toy store, or generally anywhere in the last few weeks, you might be asking yourself, hey, when is this Star Wars The Force Unleashed movie coming out? The answer is, it's not. The Force Unleashed is Lucasfilm's latest attempt to create a new chapter in the Star Wars universe by creating all the different products that they would make for a Star Wars movie except without the movie. So there's novels, graphic novels, action figures, a pen and paper role-playing game, and the centerpiece of it all the video game. Star Wars The Force Unleashed is a tale of a pivotal moment in the saga. The plot revolves around what happened between the prequel trilogy and the good movies. The gameplay description is just as tantalizing. As Darth Vader's secret apprentice, you get to roam around the galaxy, tearing shit up with the Force, laying waste to people, scenery, and Jawas. Unfortunately, Force Unleashed is a huge letdown. The story's okay, but the gameplay just doesn't pan out in the way it's supposed to, and for something that's been in development for so long, it can be surprisingly unpolished. So here's the deal, you're Star Killer. Darth Vader was going around wiping out all the Jedi, but decided instead to kidnap baby you and train you in secret so you could both wipe out the Emperor together. So he's got you going on missions, killing Imperials and Jedi alike sowing the seeds of insurrection. Throughout the game, you'll learn all about how much fun the dark side of the Force can be, as you'll be levitating Wookiees and throwing them off of cliffs, electrifying AT-ATs with that awesome finger lightning that the Emperor uses, or just using your trusty evil red lightsaber. As the game progresses, you'll gain levels RPG style and be able to earn new attacks and upgrade old ones. There's a definite sense of progress. By the end of the game, you'll feel significantly more powerful and destructive than when you started. Unfortunately, I found that the shine wore off of the force powers pretty quickly. After the first few levels, nothing really impressed me anymore. And once you strip away that novelty, what you're left with is a thoroughly mediocre action game. Come on guys, it's 2008. There, there's no excuse anymore for a camera system that's this terrible. You've got to constantly babysit it, even though the levels are straightforward and linear. The targeting system, if the game can be said to have a targeting system, will occasionally ignore immediate threats and cause you to cast force lightning on nearby rocks and trees. And as I said, there's a surprising lack of polish. It's very rough around the edges. The Xbox 360 version, which is what we reviewed, has tons of loading time, even when you die and have to restart a level. The game can't even bring up its menu screens without a loading screen in between them. The, the scene transitions are choppy. It just jumps between gameplay and cinema jarringly. Force Unleashed is such a rough experience that it feels like you're playing a generic licensed movie game sometimes. And where it really, truly fails is close to the end of the game, where in what is supposed to be an incredibly climactic scene, you bring down a giant Star Destroyer ship using the Force. What transpires is one of the most unbelievably frustrating and awful sequences that I have ever played in a video game. The controls are nonsensical. The on-screen prompts lie to you. Force Unleashed would have been a significantly better game if its designers had just deleted this entire scene. At this point, I just wanted the game to be over, and luckily it almost was, with just a couple of anticlimactic boss fights left to do. I think a lot of people are going to want to play Force Unleashed for the same reasons I did, the dual appeal of the interesting storyline and the gameplay centered around Force powers. While I wouldn't go so far as to call it a bad game, it is absolutely a disappointing one. I'm giving it a 5 out of 10.